This episode is the third in our Will This Make series. Previously, we took a look at the latest ad campaigns for the Navy and the Marine Corps. Last fall, Army Secretary Christine Wormuth made the following statement about the fact the U.S. Army only recruited 45,000 soldiers in fiscal year 2022, 25% short of their goal of 60,000. Quote, in the Army's most challenging recruiting year since the start of the all-volunteer force, we will only achieve 75% of our fiscal year 22 recruiting goal. The Army will maintain its readiness and meet all our national security requirements. If recruiting challenges persist, we will draw on the Guard and Reserve to augment active duty forces and may need to trim our force structure, end quote. Missing a target the previous year means even more pressure on the recruiting command and their ad agency on retainer at a cost of upwards of $100 million. Obviously, U.S. Army ad campaigns are designed to make the idea of serving attractive to young Americans, which requires an effective hook and is as much social science as it is about creating a basic idea of what the Army is all about. Are 18-year-olds jocks or gamers or culture warriors? Are they looking for a trade or a challenge? Do they want to serve themselves or something bigger than themselves? The Army guessed poorly with their Emma campaign last year, an animated profile of a socially conscious recruit raised by lesbians, which was blamed for adding to the recruiting shortfall and fueled the military-has-gone-woke criticisms across the web. This year's ad campaign was just released, and the messaging is much different than the Emma ad. In fact, those of you who were around 45 years ago might recognize the tagline, Be All You Can Be. Here's a classic from that era. You're reaching deep inside you for things you've never known. It's been tough, rough going, but you haven't gone alone. We do more before 9 a.m than most people do all day. Think all that you can Hey, for a sergeant. Good morning. Find your future in the army. I'd like a nickel for every time I've said, hey, for a sergeant, good morning. Now here's the first ad from the new campaign. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means we strive to be a nation of limitless possibilities. Exploring those possibilities isn't just an inclination. It's our greatest strength, the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To challenge yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. To be all you can be. To be all you can be. Go, go, go. It means never assuming something can't be done. And if it's the right thing to do, never stopping until you achieve it. That's how the U.S. Army has succeeded since the founding of this country. Since the founding of this country. Giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. The possibilities really are endless. And the world sees that. It's what we fight for every day. Every day. Every day. Seeing those possibilities, then going out and achieving them, that's winning. And we all know that winning matters. Having possibilities matters. It's what makes every soldier swear that I will support support and defend the Constitution of the United United States. States. America was built on embracing possibilities. This is what we do. This is what we do. This is what we do. We bring out the best in the people who serve. Because America calls for nothing less. So you can be all you can be. 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 Okay, it looks like they're leaning into the fact that the Army exists to fight wars, more so than they did with the previous campaign anyway. Not sure how much a high schooler wants to hear from a general or the secretary of the Army, but whatever. But the second ad in this new campaign is an even more dramatic shift from previous Army messaging. It stars Jonathan Majors, who regular viewers will recognize from the Devotion Red Carpet episode I did a few months ago. In that movie, Jonathan played Jesse Brown, the first black naval aviator who was killed during the Korean War. Jonathan also stars in Ant-Man and the Wasp with Paul Rudd. Check it out. Here's a personal question for you. When you look into your future, do you see a life full of obstacles or possibilities? Back in 1775, the 13 colonies combined their outmatched forces into a unified army, beginning to fight for our nation's independence. 
And that was the first obstacle. The army made history by overcoming the insurmountable. But history is never over. The obstacles kept coming, one after the other, after the other. And the army made history again and again, pushing back from the brink of disaster and grasping victory from hopeless odds, getting bigger, smarter, and stronger. The army transformed the lives of the millions within its ranks and the character of this country. If you see obstacles ahead of you, take a closer look at this force that's been overcoming them for almost 250 years. Where you can draw strength from those beside you and make your history. I like it a lot. But the proof of whether it's effective will be the fiscal year 2023 recruiting results, so we'll see. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. All right, that'll do it for this episode. If you're not already a subscriber, click the button and ring the bell so you don't miss anything going forward. If you'd like to help support the channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon below, or become a patron at patreon.com slash wardcarroll. And in the meantime, I look forward to talking to you again very soon. (laughs) 